The Earth, our home, is a subject of studies of many scientists. It was a subject of many theories, such as the old theory of the Earth being flat. It was the subject of novels, like The Journey to the Center of the Earth by Jules Verne. We still do not know many things miles below our realm. However, one out of many scientists made a theory about the Earth that many people thought was ridiculous, but that theory was proved right by another scientist, decades after the theory's birth. Alfred Wegener, the first scientist that suggested that the continents are moving, was born in 1880 in Berlin, Germany. He was fascinated by Greenland, preparing at a young age for a possible expedition to Greenland. In fact, he made four expeditions to Greenland. He studied astronomy, meteorology, and finally, geophysics. He saw on a map that the two continents, South America and Africa, could possibly fit together, and fossils in South America matched with fossils in Africa. He also saw that some coal beds in the eastern U.S. were identical to the ones in Europe, and that South American, African, and North American mountain ranges matched with each other. He therefore inferred that all of the continents were once together as one giant continent called Pangaea, three million years ago. Pangaea's name is broken down like Pan, meaning entire, and Gaia meaning land. Just like how it sounds, it really was an entire land, because all of the continents that exist today were all joined up and a part of Pangaea. When Pangaea divided 200 million years ago, there were what was believed to be two continents, Laurasia being a combination of North America and Eurasia, and Gondwana being everything else. In the early Cretaceous period, Gondwana began to split up into the continents we know today. India split up from Australia and crashed into Asia, forming the Himalayan mountains. This is still happening today. Sometime later, Laurasia split up, and that is how the Earth's continents are today. Wegener presented this idea to scientists, but the idea was not accepted. There were some who agreed with Wegener, but most did not believe it. The reason that Wegener's theory was not complete was that he could not find a force to move the continents. Wegener died in 1930 on his fourth expedition to Greenland. He was found buried in the ice. About 30 years later, Harry Hess, who was serving in the U.S. Navy in World War II, discovered something that would complete Wegener's theory. Harry Hess was mapping the ocean floor of the Atlantic Ocean when he discovered the Mid-Atlantic Ridge. It looked like a mountain range underwater. The Atlantic Ocean was spreading. Hess's hypothesis was that since older rocks are denser than newer rocks, the older rocks had to have subducted into the mantle, pulling the plate behind it, thus making the seafloor spread. He named his theory Seafloor Spreading. Because of this, he was considered one of the founding fathers of plate tectonics. Plate tectonics is a study of tectonic plates of the Earth. These are the major tectonic plates. Eurasian, Antarctic, North American, South American, Caribbean, Filipino, Pacific, Cocos, Nazca, African, Scotia, Arabian, Indian, and Australian plates. Tectonic plates are made of the Earth's brittle crust and upper mantle. Tectonic plates move very slowly. They move at about the speed of fingernail growth, which is about one millimeter per day.